Good morning, Spirit Prepare. I'm Sebastian, and today is your October 12 morning announcements. Now into the pledge and a moment of silence and the desk with Kayla and Ryan. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I'm Ryan Presser. And I'm Kayla Bernstein, and Ryan is going to start us off this morning. Seniors, don't forget that Dr. Keller will be in the College and Career Center during both lunches this week to help with your Common App questions. Attention students taking the PSAT tomorrow. A few reminders, make sure you bring your student ID, number two pencils, and a calculator to tomorrow's test. You can also bring snacks, but they can only be eaten on breaks. If you are testing in an extended time room, please make sure you pack a lunch as well. Finally, make sure you know your address as you will need it to enter on your answer sheet. If you don't know your address, write it down on a piece of paper or index card and bring it with you to the test. Best of luck Wednesdays, PSAT. We continue to honor Latin and Hispanic heritage. Today we take a look at Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is an island located on the continent of North America and between the Caribbean Sea and the North Atlantic Ocean. Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, which means that locals are American citizens. Although it is U.S. territory, it also competes as an individual country in the Olympics. The currency in Puerto Rico is also U.S. state. People in Puerto Rico speak English and Spanish. The only way to get to Puerto Rico is by a plane or a boat. The climate in Puerto Rico is warm and tropical. The population of Puerto Rico is 3.6 million. Approximately 5 million Puerto Ricans live in Florida. National Honor Society tutoring is happening daily during both lunches. First lunch, meet in the Media Center and second lunch, meet in 1153D. Please take advantage of this free resource provided by National Honor Society students. We are here to help. Also, if you're interested in joining NHS, National Honor Society applications are available on the school website under School Info, Honor Societies for Juniors and Seniors. You must have a 3.5 GPA or 3.8 HPA, minimum of 50 logged community service hours in SIS, and no discipline referrals. Please fill out the Google Form link to the application on the website. No late applications will be accepted. Applications are due no later than October 25th. Attention all Psychology Honor Society members. All members must pay their dues and put in your shirt orders by October 14th. Senior PHS members need to order their shirt and cord by October 14th. This will be the only opportunity to order your cord for graduation. Now to Ryan. Best Buddies will have our meeting after school on Tuesday, October 19th in room 1131. Come join us for the fun. All are welcome. Attention 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Spanish River will be giving the ASVAB test on Wednesday, October 27th. The ASVAB is not just for students considering going into the military. It is for all students in 10th through 12th grades who want to explore potential careers or educational paths. Taking this test may open your mind to new perspectives toward the selection of a career and or educational path and help you fulfill your dreams. If this is something you're interested in, more information and a sign-up form has been posted in your homeroom teacher's Google Classroom. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign-ups will go through 11.59 p.m. on tomorrow, Thursday, October 14th, but please note that late sign-ups will not be accepted. Sign up today to take advantage of this great opportunity. Now to Kayla. The Venezuelan Club will have its meeting Thursday, October 14th during both lunches, so make sure you check their mind at VZLASRHS for more information on this upcoming meeting. 
hey ladies, do you lift or do you need to condition for off season or preseason or you just want to work out? Join the girls weightlifting team. We practice right after school Monday through Thursday. Whatever you don't know, we can teach you. Make sure you have a completed athletic packet. We start lifting Tuesday. Join the Google Classroom code MMCUEI3. Attention, juniors and seniors. Herf Jones will be on campus during lunches on Monday, October 18th, 2021 for ring and graduation item sales. Now to Ryan. The Spanish River Theater Department production of Squirrel Girl Goes to College, a Squirrel Girl play from the Marvel Spotlight Collection is less than one week away. Our special homecoming show will take place on Monday, October 18th at 7 p.m. and our public opening will be on Thursday the 21st. We will also be having a costume contest at the homecoming show judged by the show's cast, so be sure to dress up as your favorite Marvel characters. Tickets are available now at www.spanishrivertheater.org and will only be available for purchase online, so get yours today. You'd be nuts to miss it. Do you have a friend or sibling currently in the 8th grade? Are they interested in learning more about Spanish Rivers' four choice programs? Tell them to come to our o Academy Open House on Tuesday, October 26th at 6 p.m. Hey everyone, please come check out your Varsity Volleyball Girls for Senior Night. We play Atlantic vs. JV, plays at 6 and Varsity at 7. We have eight seniors and we'd love to have you there for the moment. Now hey Spanish River, we're seniors from the volleyball team. And we just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's come out to support us this past season. We really appreciate your shark spirit. Our senior night is Wednesday the 13th. It's a home game. Be there at 6.30. We're playing Atlantic. Be there and wear blue. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Shark! Congratulations to the boys and girls swim teams who competed in the county conference championships this past Friday. The following won their individual heats. Jenna Weinberg, Emily Romanzuk, Nicola Parikh, Connor Schneider, and Chris Anderson. The following team members placed first in their event, Jordan Lewis, Michael Vaverde, Adam Glesman, Ava Balsam, Alex Jimenez, Alyssa Schultz. Nico Gonzalez and Josh Glesman all placed first in two events, and Valentina Albo, Kylan Costa won three events, and team captain Jacques Saunier won first place in four events he swam. Great job to the entire team. Here are highlights from Friday's meet. I'm Ali Avrak, your SGA president, and I have a special announcement. Today is the day that you can vote for your friends that were nominated for homecoming court. Make sure you look for the Google form that was sent to you by Paulette Riedel last night in your student email. Now on to more homecoming announcements.
so we're here to fight. And if you want to stand in our way, we'll fight you too. Hey Sharks, on Tuesday, October 18th, we will be hosting a frozen t-shirt competition at both lunches. Come out and participate. The winner will receive the t-shirt and a prize. See you there. Dodgeball, come to the Biotech building to find our table on Friday the 8th to sign up. Each grade will have four teams of 10 people that will compete in an all-around dodgeball tournament. Good morning. <laughs> Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh, I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to Grind like that, to shine like this In a matter of time I spent on some locked up That's all we have for today's Spanish River. Make sure that if you're testing tomorrow, you're here on time, and if you want to leave early, that you filled out the Google form.